if you now think of what lies ahead, of course, there are uh, positive signs in the sense that the economies seem to be stabilizing, albeit at a much lower le level than you would want. And you can see that happening, but they are getting some uh, control of the situation. Tunisia, for example, in 2013 has got an IMF program, and it's implementing that IMF program, and things are going well. Egypt, is, of course, being the big country, and if you look specifically there, has had the advantage of an enormous amount of financing coming from the Gulf countries. And that's helping Egypt at least to stabilize its external finances and its public finances. Now, that hasn't really shown up in growth yet, but it's the, it can happen because the fiscal stimuluses that have been planned using this Gulf money are going to lead to an increase in growth, particularly if, this, this, if they're focused on infrastructure, reducing energy, uh, the energy shortages, increasing the capacity of the manufacturing sectors. I mean, all this will help in the short run in boosting growth. I think the same is going to be true in Yemen as well. Libya is a different case because that relies completely on oil. So I think that the next couple of years, we will see signs of improvement. This won't be the, the ideal situation, but there will be signs of, of improvement. In order to get to what they need, really need of 6 or 7% growth rates, which will create enough jobs for the young people that are entering the labor force, that's going to take a lot, of, a lot more things, a lot more structural and economic reforms, and that's going to take time. It's probably five, ten years. The question that, um, that arises then is, will the populations be patient enough to wait that long, or in fact, are we due for another uprising?